hello friends today we are gonna import all of this stock item i have list of 1000 stock item we will import to tally using a tool directly within two minutes or maximum five minutes For that, uh, we need a tool. That's why I am going to download the tools. We are using UDI Magic Tools. I have provided the link. Just click the link. There are two files. One is zip file and one is on zip file. You can download any uh, any one of them. I am clicking on download link. Just click on that. And it it starts download sometimes uh, Chrome say that it may be dangerous it, it hadn't it hadn't said that it is dangerous it it said that it may be dangerous that's why there is options and you need to keep it okay if you have doubt on that that it may be a virus then you can check it on online uh, I'm checking that file just download it choose file I am going to download folder and I, I have just downloaded that file and I will check it online. There is no virus. It, that was a just a warning by a Chrome. If you download it from Firefox, then it doesn't say that. Okay, I have downloaded it. Then I am going to show in folder. Then I am going to install it. Just double click on it. More info. Run anyway. This is a UDI Magic 9.0 version. Just next. Accept the agreement. Next. 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 Install. Finish. We successfully installed that tool. We will use that tool to import stock item on tally uh, you can see that there is an icon on desktop uh, that we, uh, we uh, double click on it it is a uh, trial version but don't worry just quit it and there is a IP address you need to connect on tally with the help of this IP address just refresh it okay still it didn't find so some setting needed on tally just go to configure uh, advanced configurations and they tally acting as you need to set both yes enable odbc server as and port is 9000 okay everything leave it as it is and accept as and reload the tally as okay now you can see some informations on here that our tally is acting as client and server both okay now go to that software again and refresh it refresh it again oh now you got the name of your company yeah it detected our company now you can input some data on it choose the right company if you are if more than two company had uh, given then you must check your name of the company just minimize it minimize the tally and go to the installation folder right click on it open file locations okay then i am going to group by item type okay and there is a uh, 28 templates to import to import the data now we are gonna import today we are gonna import stock item that's why i am searching uh, master group laser master uh, budget no employee no gold master group master laser master stock item master okay just copy it Control c and paste it here okay this is a templates now open it 
now you have seen that stock item name old name uh, you can also rename uh, the stock item i'm gonna delete all of this you can use also this uh, uh, so hide but I, i'm gonna delete this too delete and i'm gonna delete this too okay i'm deleting all of all of this uh just fill some of the serial number uh you need to give a unique i unique stock item id just a type something like that Oh, you can say 100 oh, uh, be, make sure that you you typed a unique number item number two just any random number and boom. now type stock item just copy paste your stock item how much you want to copy or you can copy maximum I'm just copying some control B old name if you want to rename the pre uh, previously uh, stock item then you can set old name then automatically new name will be set if uh, alice if you want to set any alice for stock item then you can set here okay we not don't need part number group or category under which group you want to keep category or description if you want to set description then you can also set okay uh, inventory info account stock groups we don't have any group so we leave it you need to set exact group name if you want to just let me check create general uh, general group okay if I if I am typing G on your general, then the stock will be go in that group. Okay, if you give, if you don't give any name, then no is no group will be added on that stock item. Now, uh, remarks we don't need that. Any we need pieces. Uh, notice that red light, red highlighted color need to be filled. You need we said pieces, or you can copy it from here. Just copy it and then paste. Now another red, red highlighted place. Uh, there are many many things. Opening uh, stock details. Opening quantity. Let's set opening quantity. Control V, opening rate. Control C, Control B, or you can just set opening value. Your rate will be automatic calculated. Control C, Control V. Oh, I need to paste as a text. Yes. Okay. Uh, just detail not needed for us right now bad details not needed nothing needed if you want to set price then you can set here okay let it be okay uh, we are just importing 10 or 12 items okay we delete all of below part uh you can import many of them uh, okay we set up our template now go to the tools uh make sure once again that your right company is selected and then next uh, let's first check there is if some uh, some stock item is there stock info laser uh, stock info stock item there is no stock item 
and then tools next import data into tally next okay this is a main part and where our template is just select the right template master stock item open okay uh, in this uh, this is a demo version uh, and we can set uh, in demo version only five uh, items per times only can be import uh, later i will uh, i will show how to import in work but this time if you set all rows then it will only import first five items okay uh, or you can say it uh, just uh, um, just define uh, how much one two three four five from three to seven it will import three to seven or you can say zero to five it will import how much till stock item three it will import later I, this is just some trick uh, you will know later uh, next and then click the start button and boom our stock item has been created account stock info stock item display wow three again just previous and then six to ten six to ten now again next import import boom our more five stock item has been created the stock item display wow again go to previous and then 11 to 15 15 okay next re-import okay boom our more five uh, or, or uh, we have just only two more five and we just created a stock item in tally from excel uh, <coughs> if the, there is a stock item already there is a stock item then it will import it will do not import okay uh, let's see our stock item stock item uh, display okay we have set it uh, under uh, general for stock item one and two but we have not set it on this item just yes the group is primary our stock quantity rate and value is set now uh, for the uh, trick part if you want to import in bulk then what you will do okay let's close this uh, notice one thing uh, in SR there is uh, some text you never have to delete it if you delete it then you are not gonna able to import stock item there is a XML tag okay let's close it now for the bulk how to import in bulk so again go to open file locations and then search uh, some templates um, or you can use any let's trick uh, this is a trick part stock journal let's use it just copy it copy and paste it here now open it this is a uh, this is a uh, um, voucher import part you can even import vouchers i uh, will uh, i will show you how to import vouchers later video how to import master and right now some trick part twist uh, to import stock item in bulk not of only five items per times four okay now uh, now delete all of these things we don't need it okay delete. we have deleted now now the main part while import this is a stock item part source item and stock item and units I store location not needed for now and we will copy stock item and unit uh, 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 in this trick uh, you cannot add uh, quantity or rate just you can only add stock item in bulk uh, okay let's copy all of this 
However, you can use shortcut to copy this. Just and right click shift control and down arrow. Okay, control C and go to that and let's replace with text. Okay, now date you can you have to set uh, the current um period uh, let's say 17 0 set 2021 uh, this need to be in uh, correct date in tally within the date of date range of tally okay now unique id must be a valid one unique one uh, for that uh, you can use any anything 555 or something like that any any but not to be repeated okay let's paste it down to the end okay 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 we are in the end now now we are gonna able to import all of this 1000 stock items and its units in at once uh, this is a journal is the trick part uh, can you say it okay okay again go to that tools previous browse and let's right now uh, choose voucher stock journal open and all rows and next import it has imported uh, only one voucher but all of the stock item this is a trick part it is uh, now recording some errors uh, definitely there is a some error but our stock item has been created let's see stock item display wow you have created 1000 stock item within two minutes not more to than two minutes okay we are gonna import laser voucher and many more cost center employee and many more many more just don't forget to subscribe this channel okay thank you